For today's commentary, we're going to fall back on old reliable, talking about stupid dreams. Oh god. But first... <laughs> what? Interpreter. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I like the giant lips. <laughs> this song god. is called Facade and Interpreter. The interpreter's reminding me of something, I don't remember what. Uh, yeah, I think it's reminding me of something, too. I also don't know what. But yeah, here we've got, like, saxophone going on. Something about the fact that he speaks through horns is, like, disturbing to me. Oh, yeah, this is kind of fucked. So yeah, Terrible. we just get a smashing song of praise or uh, unfounded revenge or whatever it's called. Uh, Porky's butthole. Yep. So, I guess while I'm attempting to fight this boss, you'll talk about your stupid dream. I have not heard this yet. <sighs> okay, got it. So, let me give some context. Um, so last night, I, like, like... Lately, I've been going to sleep at, like, 6 a.m. almost every night, um, and, you know, waking up at, like, 2 p.m., and so it's just kind of been, like, I haven't really been getting tired, but, like, for some reason last night, I got tired, like, way the fuck earlier. It was, like, 11.30 or something. I was, like, in the middle of watching a video, and I'm just like, you know what, I don't even want to finish this, I just want to go to bed. So I did, and I woke up at, like, 4.30. Oh, my God after having a stupid dream and I'm like, okay, I need to write this shit down. So I grabbed my mouse and keyboard and like just kind of did it from the bed and then went right back to sleep after. So I don't know how much sense this is gonna make, but I'm gonna go ahead and read it. So God, I'm like already embarrassed of this. All right, I decided I want I decided I wanted to try to learn a new instrument and chose the clarinet. I don't think I was Lucas. still in school. Lucas! What? Yeah, he, I, I literally, I could not do anything uh, because... You are insanely fucking loud. Holy shit. Like, okay, well, that's, that's Discord then. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't fucking believe that. What was I supposed to do? He, he hits me with mortal damage on the first turn after I have picked my moves. So I can't do anything. I guess. I guess. Okay. This is fucking bullshit. Go on. You sure? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, I decided to learn the clarinet. I don't think I was still in school at the start of the dream, but as it went on, that detail got sort of overwritten. So, I up somehow obtained a $30 practice, in quotes, clarinet. This thing is incredibly shitty. It feels like it's just going to fall apart at any second, but it does technically work, just not very well. I'm at some sort of, like, rec center or something and wanted to try using it to at least see if I knew how to <clears throat> produce a note with it. Since I know that there's something to do with a read and it can be kind of particular, but I don't really know. And I don't think my shitty one even has a read. It seems like I, I could just blow into it. But I didn't want to make a bunch of awful noise in a public area, so I didn't do it. And instead waited until, like, music class started so I could head to that and get some instruction. So I go to the class. There's, like, five other people there plus an instructor. I bring in my phone and notebook, and I plan to just look up a beginner's tutorial online and take some notes. But they tell me I have to put all that away. I explain I've literally never played the instrument before, and I'm just trying to learn the bare basics. She looks at this thing and is like, this clarinet is terrible, you can't use this. I try to argue I'm not trying to do anything serious with it, I know it sucks ass, I'm just, like, 
but I'm not going to pay hundreds of dollars for a real one when I don't even know if I'm going to end up liking the thing. She's, but then she points out that an actual clarinet is supposed to have keys all the way down it that uncover the holes, while the one that I'm using just has the holes, which I'd have to cover with my fingers directly. So it's basically just like a recorder. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good point. Well, either way, I'm going to try to learn how to use this thing. I then realize that it has more holes than I have fingers, but one problem at a time. So... <laughs> Here's where things lose focus for a bit. I'm told that in order to actually play it, I first need something to establish the range of notes that it can play, and this is somehow determined by having a set of objects that collectively spell out a word with a number of letters equal to the number of distinct notes in what the scale. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't think it matters what these objects are, and there's no way that you can un that I could understand how to link them to the instrument other than just being near them. But I get to work on this. The room does have access to a way of obtaining said objects, and the standard appears to be Beanie Babies. So here's how that works. There's a set number of beanies sitting on a shelf. You have to pick ones with the correct letters in their names so that you can spell out a word with the desired number of letters. It doesn't even have to be the first letter of the name of each. It can be any letter within the name. But it's still surprisingly difficult. If you can't find a combination that works, you can put them back in the shelf, and there's a rope dangling off the top of the shelving unit, which you have to make level with the shelf that you want to change the contents of, then waggle the rope a bit, and eventually the shelf contents will randomly change to a different set of beanies, but it will still be the same number as the ones that were in there when you did it. So, uh -huh. I do this until I get a set that would theoretically work. I put them in a plastic bag, take out my shitty clarinet, and noodle around on it randomly for a minute until I find, like, a starting note where I can try to play, like, an ocarina song from, like, from, like Zelda. It's just, like, a basic practice thing. But very shortly in, the notes start sounding really off-key. So the instructor comes over, looking really annoyed with me already, and is like, I guess you'll just have to start over. Look at what you've done. <laughs> so I look at the bag of beanies, and they're all covered in smeared chocolate cake. They're completely ruined. Okay. I failed to realize that if you don't play very well, the beanies detect wrong notes and just become caked and no longer work. Cake? Wait, so, what do you mean cake? Covered in cake. Oh, good. So right. I'm, like, half paying attention, because I... Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I just... Um, so, I noodle around a bit more anyway. I eventually get, kind of get pretty close to, like, almost playing the main melody of Field of Hopes and Dreams, but then I end up getting a message on my phone from you, uh, who can hear this, even though we're not in a call or anything, mm -hmm. and then you just text me, don't ever do this in a stream. Whistling <laughs> is bad enough. People will actively hate this. Oh my so god. I stop. <laughs> that was so, so I, my notes aren't going to come out correctly until I replace my beanie, so I go to try to get, go get some new ones, but I've already used like half the ones that they had remaining, and now I'm struggling even more to get a working set. As I keep waggling the rope to change them, I notice that uh, Inch keeps showing up, and sometimes it's the rarer version with the felt antenna, like disproportionately often, and so, and like... Whatever one it's replacing, it'll like keep the same general quality of the other one. And so I'm like, this seems exploitable. I could just like produce a bunch of rare stuff this way. So I make note of this, but I don't do anything with it. Um, it takes me like an entire fucking hour to form a new word. The word is Vivian. Apparently names count. And I don't know, like... Why do so many good dreams involve spelling things? I don't know. Um... <laughs> And yeah, and, and keep in mind, like, the number of letters in the word is supposed to be how many notes are in the scale. I don't know what scale only has six notes, but whatever. Um, uh, so I'm ready to make it make scales like that. So I'm ready to start again, but at this point, the class is about to end. The instructor's lost all patience with me. She's like, you won't even, you, you, you can't even, like, attempt to play this until you get a new part for it, which you can order off of Reddit via some shipping website, but they won't ship it unless I set the receiving subreddit as some, like, hamster-caring thing. And it's an exploit uh -huh. to get through it with that seller, because, like, otherwise they won't sell it to you. I questioned this even within the dream, <clears throat> but they, she just said, stop worrying about it and just do it. So I'm like, okay. Good. So, I pack up my stuff, including the bag of... Thank you for not doing anything this time, Facade. <laughs> 
So I pack up the stuff, including the bag of beanies, which I just take with me. I don't have to pay for those or whatever, and head to my next class, because apparently at this point in the dream, I guess I'm just at school again. Um, All right, sure. And the next class is also for music. So I get to <laughs> the new class. is also insects. <laughs> I get to the new class, which is like an actual band practice room with like multiple tiers of seats, as opposed to the last one, which was just like a table and some fucking shelves. Um, no! Sorry. Um, Dust is gonna fucking die. So yeah, I just do my best to not draw attention to myself, and I sit in the back. Um, there's this girl next to me who also has a bag of beanies, and I notice that one of them has a Gen 2 touch tag, and I'm like, hey, can I see that one? I look at it, and it has like a 1984 copyright year, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Because that doesn't make sense. I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I just put it back. Um, so people in the class start warming up. I don't even take out my shitty plastic clarinet because I know I'm just going to get picked on. So I'm just kind of here to observe, I guess. Um, but there's some lady walking around making sure that everybody is like staying productive and starts bitching. So I decide that this is a good time for me to explore Vinny's Kirby and Maze. What? Um, <laughs> yes. Why do you remember this much of the fucking dream? I don't know. So I wrote down, I wish I could explain this better. I don't even think it was a video game. It was just suddenly I was in some sort of maze-like house viewed from a static camera angle and had to access multiple... I had access to multiple mid-air jumps and copy abilities. The goal was to find five target locations. I was having difficulty finding the fourth one when I get snapped back to reality by the person sitting in front of me who turns around and starts asking me something. So I shift back to the band room, and then I realize I'm like 95% sure that the person talking to me was somebody that I knew from like junior high, specifically the one who got nicknamed Aja Hafala Blodgkog Cephalosaurus. <laughs> and... I didn't want to admit that I wasn't positive that it was him, though, and he didn't seem like he recognized me, so I just didn't say anything. I'm like, I didn't hear the question. What was it? And he's like, uh, yeah, so I heard you got a gun finally. Hmm, decided you couldn't live, you couldn't stand living in Texas without one, huh? And I'm just like, I didn't want a gun, and Joel just made me get one. I've never fired it, and from what, what I can understand, it can't... What? I, I fucking got it, and it didn't help. Oh. Um, I'm almost done, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm like, I didn't want a gun. Joel just made me get one. I've never fired it. And from what I understand, it won't even be able to work because it's missing some sort of, like, funnel or something. And so then he just laughs at me and turns back around. And that's when I woke up. I never did learn how to play the shitty $30 clarinet, and I don't know how the beanies worked. Fantastic. Um, I don't think this is going to be possible. <laughs> oh, my God. I, uh, I feel like I may have wasted that story. What, because I'm not able to react to it? Because, you, yeah, you couldn't really listen, and I have no idea if this is even going to be capped. No, this is going to be capped. Okay. You motherfucker! Oh my god. Yeah, I will shut up and just let you focus on this, I guess. I guess I'll try to stack this. And you use Magic Taw on Kumatora. You don't have any such Bone thing. Edge. Good noise. No. Oh my god. Okay. Hopefully this will help at least a little bit. Do you have any idea if him uh, healing with the banana is like a sign that you're almost done, or can he just do that at any no point? I have no idea. Why are so many of my healing items on Lucas? I really need to, like, get better at this. Um. No, 
Not much to do but this. That's all. Okay. You know that herb that makes you stop crying? <laughs> People are like, uh, yeah, it's called a cactus. Damn it. <laughs> I hope you're trying to wait for a good part of the song. Yeah. No, Lucas! Worst. Lucas, heal, please. <sighs> Double jerky. Mm -hmm. Christ in a can, that's what I call a mega thief get. Let's have an anime party! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, never restart, Boney didn't die. He's not <laughs> oh my god, okay. most efficient way for him to communicate is to have a robot interpreter that translates that horns rather, well, yeah. than just, <laughs> rather than just, you know, having a mechanical voice. Yeah. <laughs> and then a ship flies down. Oh, oh sorry, I forgot what yeah, time it Duster's just, okay. I was about to say, he's just kind of looking the opposite way. Alright, 17 to go. <laughs> Is it 2 and 2 now? I don't remember. So the one at the castle has been taken. The one at the Chimera Lab the one on the mountain, and now the one in the volcano. I barely even used PK Love Beta. Because <laughs> Lucas is too fucking busy using healing and, like, shields and stuff. Yeah, apparently. Goose pit. Well, it has been a week. <coughs> Tane Tane Island. Oh boy. Chupi Chupi Yoi Temple. Oh my god. Uh, they misspelled Oleander. Dragon's head is obviously on the moon. <laughs> <coughs> okay, hopefully this one won't get wasted against a random fucking enemy. Do you want to put it in storage until you need it? Yeah, I think so. No, Goodbye! Whee! The stream is brought to you by Lightspeed Braves. I assume the enemies are gone, or not. 
And then you die to the magma pile. That'd be sad. Wazowski. Yeah, okay. God. Why? Because the game hates me. Jesus Christ. So for what it's worth, when I was uh, when I was writing the dream down, I also made the observation that uh, I don't know why they always involve spelling things. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah, I thought enemies were supposed to start ignoring you after you beat the boss of the area. I thought so too. Is it because you're just that underleveled? Duh. Oh my god. Did you, like, save state before this? I did. See, in that case, it makes sense that you couldn't run, because you're having to carry three dead bodies as you do it. Worst. Um, I don't even know what the hell to suggest here. Okay. What? Okay, at least. What? How the is fuck? this not the way back? Yeah. Cool. You don't have a teleport, right? <laughs> no, of course not. I suppose if you did, you would have used it. Bit of a dumb question. So mean, a puppy fi. I thought you would enjoy How is this it. not- Okay, fuck this. I'm cutting to when I exit. There may be random bullshit that occurs. I, you guys don't need to see it. Be right back. Only birds. Uh, yeah, there's a cutscene as soon as I got back to Satin Valley. I am at least fully healed now, but... Yeah, there was a little <laughs> bit of trash. Oh, good, are we not gonna be a have accident by my house? Was that the cave you came from? No, that's... I mean, that's how I originally got to Satin Valley. Oh, so you're stuck here forever. Okay, cool, I see how it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. I guess I made the contest go down forever! <laughs> oh boy. Is this not a box? Okay. Well, it's no problem. Is there not a shop around here? I really need to buy a bunch of, like, healing items. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, this will be great. Okay, off screening again? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Be right back. Okay, bought a shit ton of. Uh, I did not mean to open the map, but okay. I bought a shit ton of healing items. Um, let me actually show what I have. So I don't. I don't think I really added anything to Lucas's inventory. Um, I should probably sell that meteor tight. Um, Kumatora has a few strawberry tofu's. Yeah, I basically just bought a shit ton of strawberry tofu's, a few secret herbs, and a couple of cups of life noodles. Um, you a couple still, hundred you could, of them. You still could have more, honestly, but I want space bird. for, like, random items I find, so... What were you gonna say? Nothing, there was a bird. Ah. Uh, yeah, let me, let me quickly just sell this. Um. That's not that much money, but alright, there you go.
So is the uh, the next thing you need to do the worst part of the game? Uh, yes. Mm. All everyone. We need to learn from the Mr. Saturns. <laughs> yes, indeed. Collect birdies. Lots of birdies. A flying vehicle. There aren't enough birdies yet. Maybe one more. The random birds were actually relevant. Yes. Can't catch birdies is KO. Is the balloon supposed to attract them? Catch the bird? No, nah, I'm good. Is it my good to know? You can just you can just run up and grab one. Like Remy here. <laughs> but who's Clarice? Yeah. I just realized the balloon has like a hook at the end of it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you sure that's not just? I guess that probably is. Yeah, so it's like fishing just in reverse. It's amazing. I love these little guys. They're like hoopty. I don't know what that means. It's uh, it's it's a lovely color. All right, so I said to wait in the hot spring. Stack of Pikachu, also known as LAP. How you doing? Yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Sure, known. Oh, good. One of these. <coughs> Time for the game, Morgan Freeman, boys. No one is simply bone strong. <laughs> I can't really do it. It's fine. I guess in terms of other things to talk about, uh, I also have some stupid dreams I could go over. I'll do that in just a minute. Um, in Since the last segment, I uh, got COVID and got over it within like a week. I'm pretty much fine. I'm like 95% recovered. I still have a little bit of a cough, but for like two or three days now, I've, you know, not lacked for energy. I was, it was kind of bad at first, you know, I lacked energy. I was coughing a lot. I had a fever. Pretty much been fine since like Friday night, or just Friday in general. So yeah. You uh, mentioned it? like the Doritos not tasting good one day, so that wasn't like oh, that's... losing your taste related. Oh, it actually was. That's right. Uh, I did also briefly. It wasn't the Doritos. It was the salsa uh, that I dipped them in. Yeah, br I briefly had an issue where um, I couldn't taste sweetness as strongly. Um, and that's back to normal now, so. Yeah. All good. But yeah, in terms of stupid dreams, there are a couple. Um, so I mentioned that I moved here, like, two months ago. Um, I had a dream that I was already moving again. <laughs> Except in the dream, Fun. I was like, oh, I've only been here, like, six months, but... So I guess it must have been set in the future. Um, <clears throat> or it was like... It was like early in the. No, it was just setting the past more in the past. Oh, clearly. But I was like, like my sister was like looking for a place for me or whatever, and it, it was like, oh, I've I've had a pretty good place here. It's kind of far away, but um, it's it's a pretty good like apartment. And actually, there's like, it was weird. It was like a video game. I had like three different options that were like right next to each other. Basically, I could just pick who I wanted the flatmate to be, because there were like. Oh, I see. Thanks, Mr. Satin. <laughs> there were like, uh, there were like three different ones. There was two guys and one girl. And the thing is, I didn't really, I only really talked to one of them. So, I, so I was probably just gonna go with him because I kind of got to know him a little bit. Um, you know, all three of them were like, seemed like okay people. They like, they played video games together. They knew each other. And you know, the idea was like, oh, you know, you'll be joining this friends group basically and just like playing games with these people. Like, sh sh like in your free time, I'm like, sure. The thing was that he, I was like being given a tour of the local area 
And I was like, where is this anyway? And he was like, oh, we're in Scandinavia. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, that, that's kind of far. Where, where, where specifically? And he's like, Scandinavia. I'm like, yeah, where specifically? Sweden, Norway, or fin Finland? And he was like, oh, Sweden. So, yeah. So I just, just like, just Scandinavia again. no, it, it only happened once. It wasn't like a stupid thing. It was just, it was just, uh, <laughs> yay. Of course, Rope Snake. You're always welcome to uh to help out. Manly journey. Climbs into Duster's pants. Oh yes. Anyway, there wasn't really much else to that dream. Uh, in the other one, and this one was one of those ones that was so realistic in its relative mundanity that I I seriously just I woke up still thinking it could be real and was a little bit worried. Basically, I dreamt that I was lying in bed on my phone. Uh, oh good. Definitely need to yeah. see Lucas's ass crack. Um, Obviously. <laughs> God damn my rope snake. <laughs> rope snake, don't don't let us down. No. I mean, he's not <clears throat> falling, but we're just losing height. Yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a good face to cut back to. Yes. Ooh. Anyway, um, I was on my phone in bed, and I noticed... So, I mentioned before that I started a channel called Big Clips on a Bus, which just re-uploads good clips from Josh's videos. Um, like, snipped out the original videos. It, it's a... No, Rope Snake. No, 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 no. You, you are cool. I like you. Oh. <laughs> It's okay, he comes back to Smash. Um. Uh, sure. So, this is pointless, but I want to mention, um, my, like, taskbar has, like, a little thing in the corner, and it said I had three messages. I'm like, I don't even know what these messages are from, but okay, sure. Oh, yeah, I have nine. I click it. Uh, one is, uh, Windows Defender Summary, and then two of them are, uh, Discord messages from you, from Friday. Uh, yay, and not sure if I should go with antique textiles. <laughs> Good shit. Not gonna explain I like, that. I, I want to know how it fucking decides which ones are, like, things that I need to see. Yes. Also, that was an interesting piece of info there. It said, uh, I've heard a legend that mermaids can rescue people who are drowning with the power of love. So, mm. unfortunately, a little bit too literal. Um, Got it. Alright, lady. She just if standing on the bench. Name. No, she's sitting on it. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like she's standing on it. Um. So, uh, I was on my phone and I see that somehow somebody else has uploaded like a shit ton of clips to the BitClips channel. Probably like, you know, 50 to 100. And many of them are duplicates of each other, so it's obviously somebody that I doesn't know how to do it. Okay, so this is a dream, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, they were clips from your videos, mostly like Majora's Mask. And, you know, they were all like legit clips. Like, I looked through a couple of them, I'm like, these are fine clips, but they just, they just took over the channel and started uploading them themselves yeah. shittily. So there were. <laughs> so, you know, like, I I've, I've been kind of specific about it. I've like tried to come up with a relevant name, and then I always post the link and the name of the video in the description and in a comment. Oh no, he's in the hole. <laughs> oh my god. You gonna be a big shot? Alright, good luck. Better than being at all. Um, so not only were some of them duplicates of each other, but also most of them, like, weren't even titled properly. Like, they would just- they would just be named, like, hyphen hyphen space maxi, like, M-A-X-I space hyphen hyphen. Or, like, some kind of short fall as a word that looked like it was just, like, auto-generated by, like, a video program or something. Okay. And I think there was something else wrong with them, like, they- like, they weren't- like, generated properly or something. So it was just a shit job. And the whole time I was just like, why would somebody gain access to the channel just to upload their own clips shittily? Like, just ask me to do it. Also, 
Fuck, did, do they know my password? Because I can't actually remember what the password is for it already. I think it might be the same as another account, which it is not a good idea, but, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Doggy jail. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's nothing to actually do in uh, Tasmania yet, um, anymore. Like, I think we've exhausted the place. Most of the people have left. Kind of sucks, but... Let's go and uh, visit Lucas's house, and I don't know if we'll get another chance to do this. Let's just see if there's any unique dialogue down here. You said you had to go to the Chimera Lab, right? Oh, that's right! I actually almost forgot about that. Um, yeah, I have to do that um, before I continue. It's kind of scary. Oh, is it now? No, wait, you kind of scared me. Charge first, starting to return to normal. Smile. Okay. That's how I always wanted to look. Okay. Yeah. Charles <laughs> with the chart, guys. They too to experience different things. Oh my god. Oh no. Um, the two, the pixels around this box are the wrong color. I, I noticed a typo. Uh, you said hell's come my bond shop. <laughs> oh my god. Always a good idea to take a rest at home. Everybody pose. Alright, in all seriousness, uh, I'm gonna see you guys at the Chimera Lab, because there's a couple enemies I actually missed. Nobody informed me about this in the comments or anything like that, which is fine, but uh, basically I just noticed it when I was reading the guide that there were a couple things I need to get there, so yeah, see you there. Wait. Okay, I'm in the basement and Kumatora started to feel feverish, so let's uh, get rid of that quickly. I have been temporarily obsessed with the green train. <laughs> Hypnosis Omega, okay, because I definitely use the regular one so much. Anyway, oh. here you go. <laughs> Don't know when these started spawning, but... Oh my god. <laughs> they look like Typhlosion. Yeah, they kind of do. Hang on, what, what is this? When did this originally play? I feel like this is for a mini-boss or something. Uh, it's from one of the Mario Paint sequels mm -hmm. on the 64 day day. Is this tragic reconstruction? Can you guys look up? Uh, you guys, can you look up what this song is? Look up the zombie dillo on the wiki, and it should tell you what song plays. No. Um. Uh, yeah, it's tragic reconstruction. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, so that was the reconstructed caribou music. And a great antlion, apparently. Yeah. Didn't notice it there. Alright, so that's one enemy. I also have... There's there? six more enemies that are all palette swaps of a, like... Yes. Ferret, I don't know. Um... I want to take the back elevator for this one, apparently. I had to fight a few of these guys while I've been here. Thirty-five different kinds of hoodoos. What would it be? Thirty-five. No. No. Luke is just thinking about a cloud again. Should probably just heal people with PSI. Wait, what? Oh. That's what I meant. Lucas is no longer considering the circumstances. Okay, all you motherfuckers die. I'm adding a lot. Yes. <laughs> I like how the background shape is like those weird little squash 
heart things that you see on like tables from the 90s <laughs> yes like boomerang shapes I don't know what you'd call those well that's what I'm looking for I think oh the back elevator I see okay that's kind of annoying you had to take the green elevator yes uh I should probably just cut. Somebody drew Banjo with Pepsi. Why? I don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm in the hot spring, and uh, this guy is here. I think this guy is like yes. rare. Yes. Yes. I, I want to say there's some weirdness with like. Extremely rare hot spring NPCs. Let me see. Mm, okay. I remember the I oh, remember the yeah, S not, guy. He's not always there. Good. I remember the S guy because he was there when Vinny played through this, and so that's where I got the yes, yes, yes. <laughs> rare hot spring spawn. I mean, yeah. I think this is the way I want to be going. This looks like the back elevator. What if this game became 3D for a single room? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Why is it playing the fucking pork tank music? What the hell? <laughs> Man, what the fuck even is this thing? <laughs> it's a nice poser. Does it make a good lovely fellow? I, I keep saying that about stuff. That and, like, names for them, but, I mean, it's true. I, I just want to know why it's, like, Pyramid Head, but with a fucking, like, protractor. it's not even a protractor, is it? <laughs> I, I don't know what you'd call know. that. And it was pathetically weak, okay. Secret hub, I'll take that. Okay, now I can finally return to the beach. Each. Okay, be right back. I was going to Lucas's house to heal, and he started feeling feverish. Why does this happen fucking every five seconds? I don't know. How many moves are even in this game? A lot. Like, well, okay, let me, let me tell you something. I'm level 39... Kumatora's 36, right? I'm pretty sure Kumatora gets, like... I don't even know if her, it's her ultimate move, but it's a very powerful side move at level 60. Oh. If you grind her up that high. That probably won't happen. But, yeah. <laughs> Why is there, like, a beak? It's a, it's a dolphin also kind, remember? I'm not gonna pick it up, but... It's it was a like, beak. It was, like, a thing. No. Wrong beach? And which fucking beach was it? Not a box of chicken beaks. What the fuck beach was it? Uh, the beach beach. Oh, hang on, it's, like... Up there, isn't it? Yeah. I like the Summers remix. Okay, hold on, there's a pig. Oh. <laughs> it's like using Surf in Pokemon. Didn't I already talk to the pig? Oh, he's sunburned now. Oh no, yeah, I already talked to him. I don't remember. I must have not been eating. Oh no, I moved several feet away from the microphone. Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, I got some uh, pig mask shoes. Yay, worst part <coughs> of the game. <laughs> yup. As you do. Maybe squeal, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> Save some states. So we gotta fight some enemies down here, not just get through. But yeah, if you talk to these guys. 
Oh, the oxygen supply machines. Yep, they uh, they will save you from drowning with the power of love. <laughs> Very slowly. I like how Dust is the only one not blushing. He's just like, yeah, whatever. My day is already so goddamn weird. This might as well happen. Th this looks like it has a face. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the other side better. Yes. Okay, that's, that's one enemy. 720, that's hilarious. Uh. <laughs> it's a good thing that, uh, you know, menus and battles don't subtract from your air yeah. supply. Come on, I turned around. Yeah, cool. No, I don't use PK Freeze. It's a rude fish. fish. So I don't know when the hell else I'll mention this. Um, so after I had the uh, stupidly long clarinet dream and wrote that down and went back to sleep, I did have a few other dumb ones afterwards. I don't really remember like any of them, though, other than there was one of them where it was just like... I don't know if there was any context behind this, but uh, I found like a map of an old game. It was like an RPG for like an old Commodore style computer, I think. It was, I think it might have been slightly more advanced than that, but it wasn't like a console game. But um, the map showed that uh, there, was a, uh, there was a dungeon in this game just called Bear Cave. This is a dream? And, yes. Good. Um, yeah, it was just called Bear Cave. This motherfucking cave <laughs> was, like, three times larger than, like, most entire games. <laughs> it was, like, most NES I, like, games, or just games in general? Like, like, imagine, you know, the overworld for Mother 1. <laughs> like, that times three oh was, God. like, the size of this cave. This cave was so fucking big. Like, and it's like it wasn't you know obviously it's like not just one big open area it was like just this huge series of interconnected tunnels and i just see this and i'm like holy shit like like i think i yeah. saw it on vg maps or something and i'm like how the fuck did anybody play this <laughs> and like there was nothing more to this dream other than just me seeing the absolute size of this lad and so I wake up, and the first thing I did was I, I just Googled, like, largest video game dungeon. And I'm like, please say there's something this terrible. I uh, I have not found out if there is. I saw a bunch of people talking about, like, apparently there's a, there's a cave in Skyrim that's, like, half the map. God. Um, oh, boy, did we get a map? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe squeals I want to use. So lightning, okay. I'm going to look that up again actually and see if I what I find. Let's see. Largest video game cave, I guess I'll look up. I don't know if I'll find anything particularly interesting. Eh, probably not going to. If I do some uh, more, if I do a variety of searches maybe, but I won't do it right now. Did, did, did. 
So are we, uh, are we getting through the whole seafloor in this video? Uh, yeah, I think so. So... Um, oh, well, unless, I, unless I die. I mean, you don't die, right? You just wash back to the beginning and have to restart. Oh boy, okay. Gonna use speed up sparingly. Use bombs wisely. Okay. Yeah, I do like how Duster doesn't seem to care. It's because he's mature. <laughs> he doesn't care if it's gay. He knows that it's it's just you know it's just it is what it is. Yeah. It's so heartwarming. Oh my god. All right. I do like dust though. I'm at least I'm getting decent experience from these things. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I know I rant about this like fucking every single video, but um Are you gonna complain about wholesome again? Yes. Um <laughs> sort of. I'm I'm gonna it's like anti complaining. Um okay. because it was uh I was I was watching a video that was like ranking every single moon in Mario Odyssey and there's a few parts where he, parts where parts. <laughs> like when I just don't um, he's talking about ones where it's like, you know, you wear a costume and there's the one where like Mario plays the guitar and that type of stuff. And those end up getting like bonus points basically, uh, cause he says they're very charming. And every time he gets to one of those, I'm like, please don't fucking say it's wholesome. And he doesn't. And then I'm like, glad that that happened. I'm like, oh, some inspiration. It's so wholesome that he <laughs> didn't say wholesome. I mean, kind of. <laughs> like, it would, it would genuinely piss me off if he did. So I'm glad that he didn't. So I think we've made the argument before that uh, it's not the choice in word that pisses me off, but it's I think the, it actually is. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's any form of like vapid sentiment, really. That you know. Yeah, it's like in that case, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying like, oh, you know, I think it's cute or whatever that he's that they did this little special animation. Like that's fine. But yeah. I guess what it is, is he's reviewing every moon, and, you know, if that's the thing about that moon, is like, oh, you know. I feel like we're sounding like hypocrites here, but whatever. Also, there was a uh, jump scare on that review. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I guess I won't watch it then. How the fuck do you add a jump scare to a Mario Odyssey every moon review? <laughs> uh, there's a part where... Like in one of the in one of the missions, there's mm. like an eel. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, see you back here. You'll have to wait to explain it. I'm sorry, because the game's an asshole. Here right back. Okay, as you were saying about eels. <clears throat> uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So there was a uh, there's there's a one of the like mini section. I don't know what you call it, like the areas that are behind doors that are like a little platforming yeah. challenge usually. Um, there's one where there's like an eel that pops out of the clouds and he says like this is the closest that the game comes to ever having a jump scare and then there's like an awkward pause and then he actually inserts a jump scare and then moves on oh my god that's dickish i remember yeah, i remember that was uh, an edit i did for the tp rando i missed something oh boy kumator is feverish I remember there was a part in the TP rando where you guys joked that like a treasure chest would uh, be, have been randomized to just contain a jump scare. And then I, because throughout that thing I'd been adding in various edits and stuff and like notes over the screen. And I added a note that just said... <laughs> okay. Um, he just left. He just gave up. Okay. I added a note that said, this is the point where a less thoughtful editor would have inserted an actual jump scare. Uh, however, I have been, uh, burned by that too, like, by that in videos too many times in the past to, to do that, so I won't. And there was, uh, at least one comment that, that gave a timestamp to that and said thank you, honestly. <laughs> so, it was nice to be appreciated for, uh, not being a dick. 
I will put like 16 jump scares in one video now. No. You walked past an air machine. Was that on purpose? No, it was not. I was like, wow, I can't believe I have to get to the previous one that fast. <laughs> so I'd like to point this out. I'm very confused by this. I, uh, I googled biggest dungeon in a video game and I went to images and above the actual like you know normal image search there's ads and it can be a big almost, shot. it's a big almost, as a whale sorry 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 almost all of these seem to be porn games oh. um i didn't realize there were many porn games with like dungeons i don't i'm not convinced that they are that's the thing is i i've got perky little things for the switch uh panty party for the switch um, let's, there's something on PS4, Occultic Semicolon 9, which I've heard the, all the, Occultic uh, 9. the artwork it seems to be mostly boob. Psst. Um, there's Super Galdelic Hour for PS2, which <laughs> has a bunch of, like, chicks in bikinis. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I missed it. Come on, talk to it again. It wouldn't let me. Oh, here we go. I said yes the first time, and he said, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, fish man! Yes. The fuck is this? It's fish man, hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the last oh, one yeah, of the, the, the game, fish row kick. The last one on this list is not a porn game. It's uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, but the artwork is basically almost nudity. So I don't know what the fuck happened here. Why is this thing so strong? I mean, I guess it's Fish Roman. Is there an explanation for Fish no. Roman? Oh. <laughs> Good. Uh, it's, it's just a meme. I would like to send you the uh, the cover art for Occultic Semicolon Nine. Okay. <laughs> Like, I don't know what... I, I didn't know how else to describe this other than just mostly boob. Let me have a look. I, I'm, it's not letting me copy it. Uh, here we go. Yeah. No. Who can equip this anyway? I'm guessing Lucas. Alright. Anyway, um... Yeah, yeah, that's like... Is that g gainaxing? Is that what you call that? Gainaxing, but yeah. <laughs> oh okay. no, the air, no! Yeah. Alright, see so you guys back here. I, I guess you can't get that item unless you run out of air. That's stupid. Go right back. Okay, we have finally returned to the point where we were at. You were gonna say something? Fick. Oh, okay, so yeah, uh, the list of ads, um, I, I listed off most of the stuff on there, uh, there was all the porn shit, and then there was, like, Digimon Survive, I'm like, okay, um, and I clicked, I, I'm like, I, I gotta see if there's anything else on here, I, I click right, um, there's a couple more things that are just sort of whatever, and then there's, uh, Carl of Duty Black Cops. What? I thought that was a fake game. It is. <laughs> It's being sold as a custom game for seventeen ninety nine. <laughs> My God. And then also another copy of Panty Party. Good shit. All right. Lucas, why does this? Why do these things like not works properly? Not works properly. Round. Everybody knows it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, level 40, cool. Level 18, uh, uh. Life noodles, cool. This animation takes so fucking long. It really does. To speed it up every time. Let's have an anime party! I'm glad that there is a rock lobster. Yes, these things are kind of tough, so... I'll just hit him. This is the best battle music. Okay. It's pretty good. Getting the hang of it. Mm. Which enemy is left? There's one more. Oh no, I actually, left I've, one. I've actually gotten all of them. Navy Squirrel, Carefree, Jellyfish, Round Fish, Rock Lobster, Fish Roman. I'm... Looks like I'm like halfway. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... So the rest of it's just gonna be straightforward going there. Don't have to worry about stuff. Possibly. Well, there's uh, there probably items and items. stuff. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't know. I do like how this is the only way to cross the ocean. Yes. Yes. Alright. Let's head into Zahor. No, don't glare rebelliously. Oh. What the fuck was that noise? I need something stupid to talk about. I ran out of porn. Apparently. Uh, I don't know. Making fun of me. Okay, good. I picked correctly. Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. So yeah, in this search for uh, biggest dungeon, it sure is showing Minecraft dungeons a lot for some reason. Do you know anything about that game? Because I don't. Nope. I assume it is probably not anything I care about. It's like Diablo. <laughs> that doesn't tell me much, because I don't know what that's like. It's a... Uh... It's an action RPG that I think controls in a similar sort of way to, uh, you know, you know how you have, like, all the hotkeys in Final Fantasy XIV that do, like, your different abilities and stuff, and they have different AoE, yeah. and stats, I think it's sort of similar to that kind of gameplay. I'm not 100% confident in that, but... but you just kind of go through dungeons and kill enemies, and yeah, okay, he left. I was expecting a cake decorating game. A bomb! You delivered bombs in the game, right? Secret or a foo? <clears throat> no. I'm sorry, That's I'm sorry. I keep thinking it is. Blix Toys lives rent free in your mind. And I'm gonna go back in time. Uh, quickly. Uh, okay. This 
Well, that's kind of ass. Yeah. Was it this one I hadn't done into yet? Uh, probably didn't need to exist. <laughs> Not great. God. Fucking trivia card three. Magic pudding. Good Christ, why is it giving me so much stuff? I can't believe you would say no to the trivia card three. Okay, hang on. Well. <laughs> I mean, it's shit, right? <laughs> Yeah, but... I see we didn't deposit the yo-yo. No, we didn't. Uh... <laughs> what about that extra bracelet? That, uh, Kumatora had? I, I, I could sell that, though. That's the problem. It. I can't believe I'm throwing this away for the fucking trivia card. Wait, are you actually getting the trivia card? I thought you yes. didn't want it. I, I don't like to have items uncollected in games. Except in Pokemon, like, if it's a hidden item, and I'm not gonna go out of my way to grab all those, because, you know. No, I've gotta do it. Especially in the, uh, Gen 1 through 3 games, where there's no easy way to check them all without fucking scouring every inch. God, how are you already almost out of error? Bullshit. Mm hmm. You, like, just <laughs> barely have enough time. <laughs> okay. Should save the trivia card for the fight against Mecha Streisand. Yeah, probably. Right out. We're pretty close to the end. You sure about that one? Yeah. We're already at an hour seven, but I want to get to the end of this. Yeah. I actually don't know if I- I probably shouldn't fight the boss, though. So, we'll, <laughs> Like last time, we'll end right before killing the boss. Like, fighting the I boss. I didn't realize there was an underwater boss. Yup. I didn't realize the fish were not enemies. I've been talking to them. And... I was too busy looking at the random porn ads. <laughs> I did see the one that was, like, dragging a sled, and I wasn't sure what was going on with that, and I don't think you answered me. It wasn't a sled, it was a fishing rod, and it's, he said he was trying to fish for people. Okay. <clears throat> what about the guy in Undertale that wants to make out with a fish? <laughs> What, you mean, uh, Vine Source Joel? Yes. Oh my god. Magic balloon! I mean, um... Yes, yes, squeak chair, go. Alright, what's everyone's status? Okay, I'll stop. You need, like... Yeah, you can eat a doggy biscuit. Woof, woof. Bear hat, Ofu. Gonna talk to this guy again because Lord knows I'll probably need the entire oxygen bar from this point. Yeah, probably. <coughs> All right. Okay, we almost we almost done. <laughs> All right, Frogman. But what if you saved here with only, like, one dot of error left? God. You probably just dot. Get, I mean, you get sent back. Yeah. Wait. Oh. 
Okay, sure. And it's going to be magic pudding. Uh, close enough. It's going to be a Hadoop. Uh, close enough. Oh no, why is the Hadoop underwater? It's going to die. I don't think I've used any PSPP, right? I've used a tiny amount. I guess I can use... The PSPP is the poorly advertised, like, follow-up to the PSP. Magic gelatin. A magic gelatin! And sucked into a tornado. Yes. And I suppose we end unceremoniously here. Yes. Next time I will get sucked into a vortex. Goodbye. <laughs>